Welcome to another episode of Inside Out. There are amazing people and places and experiences all over Israel. And there are tourist sites that maybe you've been to, lots of people come to visit, but there's local spots that not many people know about. And I want to give you a window into some of my favorite spots, specifically for my fellow book lovers, book nerds, bookworms, whatever you call yourself. Right now we're at an antique thrift market that sets up outside of our offices every Thursday. But we're not going to stay here. We're going to go find the best bookstores and my favorite places to read in all of Jerusalem. And I want you to come with me. This is Jaffa. The light rail runs down from here all the way down to the old city. It's beautiful. The weather's glorious. The sun is out. So I don't know about you, but books are a dear love of mine and so when I was thinking about this episode of Inside Out, this vlog and the places that I wanted to take you, the first one on my mind was a bookstore that I found the first time I came to Israel in 2017. It's literally just like one block away from our offices which used to be in the basement and now are on the top floor so bless God. Oh my soul. Here it is. I know the, the, the word for book is sefer and plural is sfarim from my very limited Hebrew knowledge, but let's check it out. Okay, we're inside. So as you can see, what I love about this place is there's an area to hang out and journal and read and look at books. There's art books, there's all different languages. I just love the like quaint, cozy, nook vibe. Ooh, we got Nelson Mandela. Got everything from living spaces, architecture, to photography. So when you go to a bookstore or a library, which there are few of, so if you know any good libraries in Israel, let me know. I'm just telling my friends how much I love this place. My favorite bookstore. Actually, it might be my favorite. It might be my favorite. Okay, on this journey, I'm finding bookstores I've actually never been to. Ooh, Tale from Dickens. A crowd fave. Snow kisses. A bit too risque for my taste. One of my friends calls me hammy, like uh, from over the hedge, because I'm like <laughs> So anyways, you're getting, you're getting some of that today. Everyone here owns these boots, Blundstones. And I used to make fun of like, why are people wearing these boots in the summer? Then I came in the winter, I bought them in like two weeks. But now I wear them all year round too. They're actually Australian, but almost everyone here has them. That is where we're going. It's so fun to me to take you along in these little places that I like to come and hide out. I love this place because it's not as overwhelming as some others in the sense that it's organized. So if I really do need to focus on getting something done, it's a great place to come. Well, I finished my coffee, as you can see, and I actually found out the name of this place, which made me so excited because of how much of a nerd I am, but it's called The Little Prince Cafe. If you've read that book, you know how important and just beautiful it is and reminds us that no matter how much we grow or how old we become, that that childlike spirit and that wonder does not have to be lost. All right, so I hope that you come and visit the Little Prince Cafe whenever you're in Jerusalem and come and see this beautiful corridor. We are almost to the place that we have all been waiting for. The reality is that in Israel, actually not many people own an entire Bible. And so one of our local partners, the Bible Society, is the number one Bible distributor here in Israel. And I have one of their Bibles on my bookshelf that's like half Hebrew and half English. We absolutely love what they do. We love their heart. We love who they are. And they're right at the end of Jaffa. We're almost there. Actually, this is a book I did in, in uh, college at the King's University. Because it was before I cared about Israel, so I was learning about Greek. <clears throat> so many people here 
don't know the full story of scripture. They've never read the Bible in modern Hebrew. And that's why the important work that these guys are doing is so inspiring to us. So that is the end of my little book tour for you. Although I love stories and I love novels and I love fiction and I love history, this history is the most important. And so if you wanna download a PDF to learn more about what your role is and be invited into this story, there's that link in the description box. So if you are in Israel, you can come visit some of the best places to read and buy books and borrow books and drink coffee. We'll see you next time on Inside Out.